beautiful people of the world, thank you so much for joining me here today on Lumia. My name is Claire Summer. Today's pick a card reading is are we meant to be, so are you meant to be together with your person? I will put out a trigger warning. Please bear in mind that the answer to your question may be no, um, so you need to bear that in mind before you go ahead with the reading. And also please know that my readings contain both light and shade, so some of the more shadow aspects to your connection. So just bear that in mind before you make your selection. We have three groups for you today. I'm gonna insert a timestamp for those groups down below where you can look at them. Before we get into that, I just wanna chat to you about some healing work that I've been doing that I think will really resonate with you and may help many of you in the community. So I wanna have a chat with you about that. If you are struggling in your life with um, strong emotions, with anxiety, with depression, or maybe even physical symptoms like um, uh, chronic fatigue or IBS or chronic migraines or a skin condition, whatever it is that ails you, that is affecting you, then um, I think this may resonate with you, it may help you. Um, so whoever this message is for, I'm hoping it's gonna reach you today. I have been doing some healing work with an amazing lady called Tanisha. She runs a website called Life Unblocker and it's all about dissolving those blocks as energetic blocks that we have towards getting back to our natural place of joy, of abundance, of peace, and of love. This is our natural state. And if we're not experiencing those things, then there is a block which is stopping us. So those blocks may be from childhood, uh, childhood traumas, or just traumas in our life, difficulties that we've had that have stayed in our energetic bodies and our energetic resonance and stop us from expressing ourselves fully so I've been working with Tanisha and I just want to say this is not a sponsored video no money has changed hands I just wanted to talk to like-minded people like you out there in the world about my experience and if it resonates with you then perhaps there is somebody out there who Tanisha can also help so um, Tanisha is just a friend of mine. All her details are in the description box. So she has been helping me. I went through a spiritual awakening, a big expansion in my awareness and consciousness a couple of years ago as a result of um, nursing a very close family member of mine through cancer um, who I was very close to, a kindred spirit. Um, it was a very difficult time, very gritty. Um, and those experiences have stayed with me and have had an impact on my physical health and just about how my life has been flowing and how I feel about myself. Now, as a result of doing this work with Tanisha, I just feel amazing. I feel like I've just broken down those barriers. I feel just so much more at home in myself, so much more in touch with peace, so much more grounded. Um, my physical symptoms have really improved dramatically so I just feel like I sleep so much better, I have so much more energy, I feel so much more positive, I can see all the places where I've been holding myself back. It has been really transformative. So if this sounds good to you, please check out her website. It is linked in the description box below. She can help you with anything. If you've got a broken heart, if you've got blocks in your life, if you've got physical challenges, she can help you to get to the root of those problems. She does energetic distance healing. She is extremely genuine. She is completely authentic. She is a light worker. She's the real deal. And if you resonate with me and this channel, then you will probably resonate with Tanisha. Now, Tanisha does a healing circle, which is a Facebook group, and she sends out distance healing once a week to everybody in the healing group. Now, you can join that completely for free for the first month. And then after that time, it's just $5 a month and you will receive her powerful distance healing and people have been getting really amazing results with that. Now, um, if you wanna work with her one-on-one, -on -one, if you see her website and you really like her, there's all testimonials on there of all the people she's helped and the incredible transformations that they have experienced, then um, you can also work with her one-on-one. -on -one. She doesn't work with just anybody. It has to be like, you have to resonate with her um, and she will take you on. And that is what I've been doing and it's just been just the best experience. I am so glad that I invested that time in this experience and in myself because it has created um, amazing changes and a big shift within myself. 
So if that resonates with you, if you feel like that is calling to you, check that out. It's in the description box. Her name is Tanisha and her website is Life Unblocker. All right. But yes, um, otherwise, let us move on with the reading today. I have got three groups for you today in this pick a card reading. I ask that you choose from your intuition. As always, I will insert an overhead shot for you to see the three groups. Just use your intuition, that quiet inner voice that we all have. You can always pause the video if you need a little bit more time and uh, to make your selection today as to which of the three groups will resonate with you the most in your situation. While you do that, I will just let you know that my beautiful book, Attract Soulmate Love, is now available through my website. So for coming into right alignment with your soulmate, there's more information in the description box if that resonates with you. All right, but I'm looking forward to doing this reading for you. Make your selection and I will see you in a moment. Hey everybody, welcome to your reading, everyone who picked group number one. I'm going to take a look at the energies in these cards and see if you and your person are meant to be together. All right. Thank you to my Lumis, my amazing subscribers, everyone who is part of this community all over the world. Thank you for supporting me on this channel and also for supporting each other as well. It's so lovely. And also just thank you to everyone who has been kind enough to show their gratitude and appreciation through the energetic exchange. It's very sweet of you to show me a bit of love in this way. All right. I'm going to begin with the tarot cards today. We'll look at your oracle cards in a moment. Okay, so we have Chariot in Reverse, Judgment in Reverse, Eight of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Five of Wands, King of Cups, Tower, Knight of Pentacles, Four of Swords in Reverse. Okay. Cancer's energy is represented here quite strongly. Um, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. Um, you could be dealing with another water sign as well. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio is represented here in this reading quite strongly. Um, I feel like, for those of you in group number one, I feel there's something here where it's either indicated that it's on again, off again, or just like it's like just been a bit up and down. This is the pattern that I'm seeing in the cards. There's like these good times and then bad times. It's been a little bit up and down. I feel like they have this person, maybe they promised you something. Maybe they gave you an indication of how things could be between you both. It could be that they've actually led you on a little bit. Um, I don't think it's because they're a bad person. Maybe it's what they wanted at the time or they liked your attention, something like this. But I feel like now they're stalling. So it's like things were going in one direction. You were going, you know, you thought that this was developing from a friendship into a relationship or that um, it was developing into a, something romantic or that you were going to be together or that things were progressing. But now there's this really strong energy of them just stalling, of things maybe just stopping. It's also really strongly indicated here that your person needs to um, make a decision and they're not doing that they're really dragging their heels um, they're really sort of stuck in the mud about it I feel like they're quite closed off they're not giving you a lot of information I feel like things I'm sensing an energy of disappointment here like you thought things were going really well or you thought things were going in a certain direction or that things were going to work out and now there's this energy of things stalling, of things, um, of your person really dragging their feet and just not making this decision, not giving you any information about what's going on with them, what it is that they're feeling, what it is that they want to do, what it is that they want to go into in the future, how it is that they feel about you, uh, what's going on with them even. You know, I just feel like if you, if they just talked to you and told you what was going on, you'd feel better about this situation. Like at least that would be a start, at least instead of you being all up in your head and trying to guess what's going on with them, it would give you something to work with, it would give you something to work on. But at the moment, it's just like, there's this shut down energy here. Um, but I feel like it's, it wasn't always like that. I feel like they're not, open to this connection. I feel like they haven't realized the potential of this connection. So it may be that they don't 
see you in a romantic light at all. Maybe they just see you as a friend or even as an acquaintance. They're not aware that you've got a crush on them or that you're into them in that way. There's this lack of awareness here when we see judgment in the reverse. They've yet to wake up to this. It could be that, it could be just that they um, haven't woken up to the potential of it. They don't see the depth of this connection, the depth of the feelings involved, the, just the potential of what a great match you would be. It's like, it's, it's just like not on their radar. And this is just their level of consciousness. This is just kind of where they're at with this. So we have eight of wands, seven of pentacles. I feel like your person is invested in this. I feel like maybe you spent a significant amount of time together. I feel like they have invested in this. They have maybe spent time with you. They are your friend. Um, they did put the effort in maybe at the beginning and maybe now not so much. I feel like there's this energy of maybe they are contacting you a lot. You know, maybe they're really in your life and you're seeing them or they're contacting you and they're messaging you and then you get this radio silence for hours or days or maybe you shoot them a message and then you don't hear from them for an hour or a few hours or until the next day. So there's what I'm hearing is inconsistency. There's an inconsistency with their communication which is making you feel very unsure um, and insecure. I think you're trying to deal with that deal with feeling insecurity in this situation. I don't think you should have to do that. I don't think you should have to be trying to manage feeling insecure. I think they need to make this decision and let you know where they're at with everything. So again, this indicates this hot and cold thing, like they're in your life and then they're pulling back. They're not so sure, or they're a little bit more shut down, or like it cools off a little bit. I think when you're together, it's quite intense. You feel really good together. You're just like, wow, this feels so amazing. And then maybe when you're together, it's brilliant. And then maybe when you're apart, you're just like, well, I don't know what you're doing or who you're doing it with or how you feel about me. They're not giving anything away, that's for sure. They're not giving anything away. They're doing that to protect themselves by not giving anything away. And also, what I'm hearing is just there's a control thing as well. It's like if they don't give anything away, if they don't give you anything, and then you have to just make it up in your head or guess what's going on with them, gives them more power. Which I don't, I don't really like this feeling very much. I don't think it's because they're a bad person. I think maybe they just do it because... It makes them feel in control because maybe these kind of romantic emotions make them feel a little bit out of control or a little bit triggered or a little bit uncertain or something of this nature. I feel like maybe there's some discord between you both. I feel like sometimes things are settled and then you go through periods where you're just not getting on, maybe you're just not on the same page or maybe there are disagreements and arguments between you both. But this is like an energy, this is right in the center of your reading of like a battle and I'm hearing like a battle of wills between you both. Just like, well, I want this thing and the other and the other person's like, well, I don't know what I want. And one person's like, well, tell me what you want so that I can work with that. And the other person's like, no, I'm not gonna. So there's this battling energy. It could be that you're battling really uh, in actuality in a 3D world with arguments and things like this. Or it could just be like this push-pull of energy between you both. It's not harmonious. It's not peaceful. It's not like coming home. It's like a little bit dramatic or like a little bit of push-pull between you both. This is what I'm seeing. But we have the beautiful King of Cups. This is a soulmate card. I get such beautiful energies from this card. This is a soulmate represented here. Um, and they do love you. This is such gentle energy of love. So if you're feeling those loving energies or you feel it sometimes, like sometimes they express love towards you or sometimes you feel very close to them, it is because there is love there. Their higher self knows that they love you, but maybe their ego is getting in the way a little bit. But there is this beautiful loving energy here. I feel like this person 
is a good friend to you or has been a good friend to you um, over time. I feel like, you know, with this, this is a beautiful connection when we see the King of Cups, just like really resonating with each other. So I feel like there's this energy of like, well, why can't we make this work? Or why can't we get on? Because there is this beautiful resonance between us. There is this beautiful exchange of energy. We do understand each other. We are kindred spirits. We are into the same stuff. We do understand each other completely. I can see you. You know, when you just like really see another person energetically, psycho-spiritually, and you get that impression from them, which is why you feel so intense about them. And this is a soulmate card. This does indicate that you are meant to be together in uh, this life in terms of uh, meeting spiritual, uh, excuse me, like having learning spiritual lessons from one another. So you're definitely meant to meet each other to have these experiences. That's for certain. So we have the tower. I feel like, again, this indicates maybe there's been some drama. I feel like your person has been deeply triggered, which is why um, it makes them feel triggered to express this love to you with this tower energy. So they do have these loving feelings there. They feel like it's unsafe to express them. I feel like maybe this connection isn't built on the most solid of foundations. Um, that could mean that there are practical difficulties, uh, family obligations, long distance, um, or it could just be that uh, the foundations aren't very good because um, your person feels afraid when they are faced with love in this way or this depth of feeling that they have. This is deep though. This isn't somebody who's surface level. This person does have access to those deeper feelings and those deeper emotions, and they do feel that for you. This isn't someone who's surface level, especially when I see the Knight of Pentacles here. So, Four of Swords in the Reverse is about taking action. Um, I feel like your person will take action towards you, but slowly. And I think the reason why it's slow is because they don't quite feel safe. I feel like... Maybe they don't feel safe because of some of these disagreements. Maybe they don't feel safe because one of their needs isn't being met. But then if they don't talk about that, then, you know, what are you supposed to do with it? So I do see progress being made. I do see them coming towards you. I do see them taking action towards you and things shifting and changing. So... And changing in this situation from this limbo that you're in right now where they're sort of stuck because we've got this stuck energy at the beginning um, and I feel that's going to unravel and they're going to come towards you slowly but it's going to be a little bit of a slow burn so I do see you uh, being able to get together I do see you being able to connect to these soulmate energies this love energy but what I feel is that there's a process for them to go to, through I feel that there are some issues and challenges that you need to work on. Let's take a look at the Oracle cards and see if we can get any um, more details. So we have calling in your soulmate from the Romance Angels Oracle deck. So again, this is saying this is a soulmate. It says your prayers, affirmations and visualizations help to bring you together. So this is really saying stay in high vibration. Don't give in to your fears about what it is. Work on dissolving those blocks that are stopping you from coming into union because this could be a really beautiful thing. There is this beautiful deep feelings there. They are invested in you. So I do believe that you are meant to experience each other in this life. But I still feel like this energy of you calling them into you. But it is entirely possible. We have the beautiful card surrender. So surrender to this process. If your person is feeling triggered, there's nothing that you can really do about that except create a safe space for them to share what it is that they want to share. You just, um, Spirit's really saying uh, and encouraging you to just surrender to that unfolding process. This isn't going to be a, a fast thing because your person is learning something about themselves, which at the moment they are closed off to. 
that maybe that you need to do you for a little bit, that you need to invest in yourself and work towards your own goals and dreams while, um, while your person, you know, wakes up to the potential of this connection. We have the card inner child and separation. So this does indicate to me that maybe you've been together and now you're separated or maybe you felt very close to this person and now you feel more distant. That's definitely indicated here. Um, and that's the period that you're going through. And then we have this inner child. So this does indicate to me again when I see the tower and some of these difficulties and you're just like, why? Why is this so difficult? You're making it much more difficult than it needs to be. Um, because we do have this beautiful love here. This inner child indicates to me that they, there's a wound from childhood that um, triggers them when they get very close to somebody. Um, but you being in each other's lives is helping them to heal that. You can't heal it for them, but just your mere presence of being there is helping them. Um, sometimes just love isn't enough. I know that you love this person, you have these strong feelings for them, but sometimes love isn't enough if they've got these wounds. So I do think that you could be together, but um, this person has got some stuff that they need to work on in themselves for this to be successful. But there is love here and I do see them coming towards you and that forward motion is a result of them coming to terms with things within themselves and feeling safer because this knight of pentacles is really an energy of being grounded especially next to the four of swords in this way this is like they're just getting more grounded they're feeling more solid after this after this tower moment this tower moment may be that you've split up or gone on a break it could be that you've just had a massive argument um it could be that maybe you've agreed to have a bit of space from one another, but I do see them coming back towards you and taking action, which I think is what you want because at the moment they're stalling, but they need this space. This is what I'm hearing, they need this space. It says, be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. I don't pull this card very often. This is from the Whispers of Love Oracle deck, one that I turn to again and again. Um, again, this is just about staying in that high vibration, not giving into your fears and really imagining what it is that you want. Surrendering to the how things are, surrendering to what is, but then keeping that high vibration of your ideal situation with that person. This is the most likely, um, this will just attract good things to you magnetically. This will be, you know, when you stay in that energy, then you create a lovely safe space for them to come towards you, which I do see. So um, I see you being together. I see them coming towards you. I see them um, making progress with their sort of inner journey as well. So I do see you coming into union. Um, I do feel like this is a soulmate energy, but there's going to be stuff that you have to work on together. Um, and that's, that's the reality of it. All right, that's everything that I have for you in this reading today. It's been my honor to read your cards for you today and to share this time and energy with you. Um, if you feel called to, please check out my beautiful book, Attract Soulmate Love. I've written it from the heart. And I'm getting a really amazing feedback from people in our community about how it has helped them to come into union with their special person. So check that out if it resonates with you. But otherwise, have an amazing week. Do take good, good care of yourselves. I'm sending you lots of love and I hope to see you again soon here on Lumiere. Take care now. Bye-bye. Hey everybody, welcome to your reading everyone who picked group number two. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going to take a look at the messages from Spirit regarding your situation and whether you're meant to be together with this person um, in this uh, connection. So I just want to thank my Lumis, my amazing subscribers. Thank you for joining this community and helping this community to grow and supporting each other all around the world. It is so, so amazing to connect with you all. So thank you so much. And also thank you to everyone who has donated through the Energetic Exchange. It's very sweet of you to show your love and appreciation to me in this way. So thank you so much. All right, I'm going to start with the your tarot cards today. We'll see if you're meant to be with this person. And we'll look at the oracle cards in a moment. All right. Justice. The Tower. Hanged Man. Two of Cups. Six of Pentacles, Ten of Swords in Reverse, Ace of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, and the Lovers. 
All right, I'm sensing this is a really powerful connection that you're both sharing. If you're feeling it in that way, if you're feeling it as a very powerful connection, then this is why there's definitely a lot of energies in this. I feel like, you guys, what have you been going through? What's been going on with you? I feel like there's just been a lot going on in this connection, maybe emotionally, maybe energetically, maybe just in terms of your communication with one another. Um, when I see these three cards together, Justice, the Tower, the Hanged Man, opening your reading with three major arcana cards this is like heavy solid energies that we're dealing with here i just feel like um for some of you in group two you've been going through a lot you've been experiencing a lot you've been getting spiritual downloads you've been um awakening to the truth or to your own truth or your person has been awakening to their truth there's definitely a lot here about truths being revealed in this situation i feel like this is definitely an energy of recalibration things transforming things changing between you both really powerful so it could be that um you're just getting a new perspective as a result of these changes that you're going through i feel like what it looks like to me is that some sort of truth has come out. Maybe it's a spoken truth or maybe it's just a realization about things. And this has caused a breakdown between you both. So maybe you're in separation or maybe you decided to have a little break or maybe things have just cooled off a little bit and you haven't decided anything. Just someone or both of you in this connection have taken a little bit of a step back. There may have been a shocking realization with this. Maybe the realization was, yeah, I really want to, excuse me, really want to be with this person. Maybe um, it was a deeper truth, you know, maybe it's just like, oh, I'm still in love with this per person from the past or um, there's somebody else in the mix. That's not what I'm seeing here. I'm just giving this as an example of, I feel like your past experiences or your past actions or what you've shared between you both in the past has had something has influenced this situation and has influenced this breakdown in connection or breakdown in communication or this distance that you're feeling so i feel like there was a commitment that had been broken when i see um justice next to the tower in this way this indicates like a commitment that was broken maybe they made a promise to you um that they didn't come through on maybe they've always been making promises to you that they didn't come through on either verbally or um just through implication is what i'm seeing um justice is really about you reaping what you sow as well so again we're just talking about what happened in the past has affected what's going on now so maybe if there were difficulties or there were crossed words or maybe someone in this connection wasn't acting out of their integrity then we see the results of that and the results maybe haven't been very positive or very good maybe it's been a bit challenging a little bit difficult um but i'm feeling what i'm hearing is like a breakdown to break through and we have the tower next to the hanged man like this this is definitely this indication of breakdown to break through so i see like some sort of truth that has come out so it could be somebody said something and you're like okay now things feel different to me or i don't feel the same or um i need to think about that or this changes things for me or it could just be oh, just a realization that somebody in this connection had within themselves just from observing someone or just what you've exchanged between you both it hasn't been a direct truth that is spoken just like a realization that has come out and this has changed things but this is a recalibration that you're going through if you guys have been going through a lot what i'm sensing is a recalibration a shift in your connection a shift in the energies that you are sharing now this may you may need a little bit of patience with this with the hanged man but this really indicates this is like um an image, a symbol of a chrysalis, that going within and transforming into something better, something where you have greater understanding, being able to see this situation differently. So maybe your person sees it differently. Maybe they see the potential in this. Maybe they see you as the one. Definitely going within in order to transform. And remember, 
that transformational process can be a little bit tricky sometimes because the chrysalis when the caterpillar goes in to create that change is not like the caterpillar just goes in and then grows wings they actually if you um see this they go into the chrysalis and they turn into a kind of chemical mush and a soup in there that's what's going on and then they're reborn into something else so powerful transformation when i see this justice the tower hanged man powerful transformation and i think this is what you need because if you'd carried on as you were you'd be in limbo or you'd be in stagnation or it'd just be the same problem over and over again so transformation if you're not feeling it right now is coming for you it's powerful it may be painful i'm gonna let you know that right now it may be painful you may have some challenges sometimes definitely indicated that there are challenges uh, that need working through here what i'm hearing is like um, if you keep on doing what you're doing, you'll keep on getting what you're getting. But what I'm seeing with these changes is just like, ah, I can relate to this person differently. I can do this differently. This way that I dealt with things in the past isn't working anymore. Maybe I feel like there's a more mature attitude to dealing with conflict or um, expressing yourself or your needs like a more mature attitude coming in as a result of this definitely a lot about truth coming out the truth of your feelings the truth of the situation the truth of what it is that you really want or what your person really wants and then we're moving through this transformational process you know this may indicate a pause I didn't, it's not stuck energy, it's just like a pause. Maybe you do need a bit of time apart, maybe you do need a little bit of a cooling off period, this is indicated here, so that people in this connection are able to have these realizations, but as a result of that, look how worth it it is. Two of Cups, maybe an apology comes in. Seeing eye to eye is what I'm hearing. If you've not been on the same page, I see you coming together to to be together i see romance coming in for you like a romantic gesture i see you seeing eye to eye right really having one of those beautiful heart to heart connections where you understand each other completely i see this as a soulmate connection or a twin flame connection represented here in this reading uh libra's energy is represented here um as well as cancer's energy and libra's energy sun moon rising or venus so a beautiful soulmate connection you woven into the tapestry of each other's lives to have these experiences even though some of these experiences may be challenging um if your person has been triggered if they have pulled back and moved away they will come towards you with an offer of love to be able to exchange love freely heart to heart to be able to be open to that when we are faced with these very real things, these very real feelings, sometimes that can be very triggering when it's the real deal, when it's something meaningful in this way. Um, I don't think there's a person on earth who isn't triggered by that when somebody who really sees them. Where it feels really real, it can feel quite serious. So I think it's natural if um, your person has pulled away a little bit, but I see true love here and a commitment. And we've got justice here as well. I see your needs getting met with the Six of Pentacles. I feel like maybe some of these problems have to, been to do with not getting your needs met and not understanding what your needs are or vice versa with the other person. Take it how it resonates. This is really a card of abundance, of being able to give and receive freely, especially when I see this with the Two of Cups. I just see you just being completely on the same page about the future, about what it is that you want, about how to overcome your problems about being able to speak about those things and be heard, to be seen energetically and spiritually, to be able to be heard on a deep level and to be able to exchange those. I just see such a good exchange coming into you that it's going to be like a real breakthrough, that's going to be really uh, nourishing. This is really a card of kind of nurturing, of being taken care of, um, of really feeling that energy. 
I guess this person isn't ready to give up on this. If it feels like it's over or it's over before it's begun, this isn't the case with this Ten of Swords in the reverse. This is someone who's still very much invested in this. There's still like a lot of um, energy left in this. There's still um, a lot to go on this journey. Definitely woven into each other's lives in this beautiful tapestry. So there's more that they want to experience with you. We have the beautiful Ace of Swords. Again, so much in this reading about truth coming out. I see them being able to speak their truth. I see you being able to speak your truth. Of you being able to understand each other in this way. Of being able to be vulnerable as well. This is indicated here with the Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords in reverse. That vulnerable, open communication, which brings you closer together. Because if we all just play games, if we just pretend, um, it keeps us distant from one another. And this isn't what I see. I see some sort of beautiful new communication. Definitely an opportunity coming in. This is like cutting through the crap, cutting through whatever it is that you've been going through. Just leaving the past behind you is what I'm hearing, especially when I see Ten of Swords in the reverse like this. And this Ace of Swords, this is like a brand new start, turning over a new leaf, and um, and that new leaf being based on truth. Like, I'm hearing no more secrets, I'm hearing no more holding back. And then what do we get as a result of this goodness, this positivity? We get Ten of Pentacles, and the outcome of your reading, the beautiful Lover's card. So I do feel like you and this person are meant to be together. And when we have the Ten of Pentacles, I feel like this has got long-term potential written all over it. We've got the Two of Cups here as well. Two of Cups, Lovers, Ten of Pentacles, so much positivity here. Twin Flame, Soulmate Connection, really resonating with one another, really understanding each one another. Um, I feel like it's got long-term potential. I feel like you've got a lot to invest in each other, a lot to share with each other. I feel like... Um, You bring a lot of fulfillment into each other's lives. There's a lot of experiences that you can share together with one another. This is a deep, deep connection that I see with you both. And I do see that you're meant to be together. So there may be some stuff that you need to go through before you get to that process. Before you are through this process, before you can uh, reach this goal. I feel like... I don't think it's going to take forever. I think in a few weeks this is really going to have resolved is what I'm hearing. This doesn't feel like a low weighty energy. This feels like it's absolutely necessary, that this absolutely needs sorting out, that you can't bring this forward to you, um, with you in the future. Um, this baggage or these issues, but I, this is really an energy of solutions resulting in happiness. This is really a card of happiness and fulfillment, happiness and fulfillment in love. I feel like you've been working on yourself a little bit as well and that love that you have in your heart space, or if you're not doing that, Spirit's really encouraging you to do that. Expand the love in your heart space to, and when you do that, you will attract more love into your life. So there's a lot here about mirroring. So the themes here are really like the process, the truth coming out, um, accepting that truth and then this long-term potential and beautiful, um, committed, loving, energetic, loving exchange between you both. So I do feel, in answer to your question, that you are destined to be together. When I see the lovers, it's really a card of destiny. It says the heart of the matter. I'm just taking a look at your oracle cards now. From the Whispers of Love Oracle deck, such a beautiful deck. Um, it says there's more going on than meets the eye. It's very much ties in with what we were talking about at the beginning of the reading. Got to break down to break through. And with this hanged man energy can be, feel a little bit like, I don't really know. I don't really know what the next step is. I don't really know what's happening with them. I don't really know what's going on. So more going on than meets the eye indicates this truth coming out. Maybe there's something that hasn't been spoken between you both. Maybe there's something that your person wants to share with you, which will change things between you both. You have the card of refocus and surrender. So again, this energy of surrender, very similar to the hanged man. 
I know it's easier said than done. Spirit is always telling me this. Just surrender. All right then. <laughs> so surrendering to this process as it unfolds, not giving into your fears, really just surrendering, letting things unfold, refocus. Again, what we were talking about right at the beginning, this is the theme of recalibrating this situation, shifting your focus from problems to solutions, from friendship to love, from negativity to positivity, from low vibration to high vibration. Refocus your mental energy on what it is that you most desire, on what is positive in the situation, the good things that are coming out of it. We have the card soul work. Again, this indicates such a powerful message here. What we were talking about at the beginning with the justice, the tower and the hanged man, this is soul work. You're in each other's lives for a reason to do this soul work between you both. You're helping each other to grow on your human journey and on your spiritual journey through this life. <clears throat> you're in each other's lives for a reason. You're helping each other to grow. There is a deep meaning in this. And we have the beautiful card, Romantic Feelings, from the Romance Oracles deck. It says, your feelings are real and worth exploring. So this is all about getting in touch with those true feelings. Sometimes we can react a certain way and we just think, well, my feeling is that I feel anger. This is just an example. But what about, Spirit saying to me, go deeper. Just thinking, I feel pissed off with this person or I feel anger. What is it? Go deeper. What's behind that? What's behind that anger? Maybe you feel abandoned. Maybe you feel scared. Maybe you've got fear. Fear of abandonment. Fear of losing them. What is behind that? So Spirit is really saying, go deeper with your emotions. Connect to your heart. Your heart knows the way and it will never lead you astray. So um, I do believe that you're meant to be together. This is very positive reading, but really powerful energies, definitely. If you feel called to, please check out um, Tanisha's work. I spoke about her at the beginning. I've been working with her to heal some of my own blocks and challenges. She is extremely genuine and a beautiful light worker. Um, her details are in the description box. She does a monthly healing circle for um, uh, distance healing, which is only $5 a month, or you can work with her one-on-one -on -one if you need powerful transformation in your life. Do check her out. She is an amazing girl, really high vibrational, really positive. She's been on her own journey, and she can definitely help you. If you resonate with me, then you will resonate with Tanisha. So do check her out if it resonates with you, but have an amazing week. I am sending you lots of love, and I hope to see you again soon here on Lumiere. Take care now. Bye-bye. Hello beautiful people, thank you for joining me. This is your reading, everyone who picked group number three. So I'm going to take a look at these energies in the cards and see if you and your person are meant to be together today. Um, I just want to thank my Lumis all over the world. Thank you for being part of this community and to helping this channel to grow. I appreciate every single one of you. It's so sweet to connect with people all over the world and to hear your stories. It absolutely uh, just fills me up. I love it so much. And also, I just want to thank everyone who has donated through the Energetic Exchange. I am extremely humbled. So thank you for showing me a little bit of love in that way. All right, let's take a look at your cards today. Um, I'm going to start with the tarot, I think, and then we'll look at your oracle cards in a moment. Empress in reverse, three of wands, <clears throat> strength, six of cups in reverse, ten of swords, ace of pentacles, the world, seven of cups, Three of Pentacles in reverse. I see this as a very challenging connection. Um, Leo's energy is represented here. Libra, um, they're the predominant energies. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Venus, because this is a love reading. All right. Um, I feel like there's this energy when I'm looking at these cards of withholding. So I feel like someone in this connection is really like, yep, yeah, I'm 100% on board with this. I really love you. I've got these strong feelings for you. Um, let me share that with you. And yet yeah, there's this energy of withholding that I'm getting really strongly from this reading with this Empress in the reverse. You know, because in the upright, it's a card of abundance. I feel like 
there is a lack of love at this time in this connection maybe not from you but from your person that's definitely how it's resonating or how you're feeling it that you're not feeling connected to their love like they're not being loving i feel like they're not treating you how you deserve to be treated i feel like they're not 100 percent on board with this connection is what i'm sensing i feel like there's this uh, energy of retraction I feel like there was so much potential here, which is why you've connected to them. But it's like they're withholding their love from you. Now, they may be doing this to protect themselves. They may be doing it because they're, they're just not feeling it. Um, it may be that they're not in a space in their life where they can do that. Let's look deeper at it. And I just feel like this has been quite painful for you and that you've had to be quite strong about it. You've had to get in touch with that inner fortitude. You've had to really um, face some situations or some truths that have been very uncomfortable for you, that have maybe been very upsetting for you or challenging in some way. Um, I feel like... Your patience with this person is really running out. I feel like they are, um, again, this energy of withholding, that they're not willing to go the distance with you. They're not willing to meet you where you're at. They're not willing to go the distance with you. They're not willing to share their love with you. I think if this message is resonating with you right now, um, although this is quite a deep message, you know, if it's resonating with you, then it is for you. And I think we can, you know, we can look at the overall energies here because uh, this message from Spirit will help you if you are in a challenging or difficult situation. So I feel like you're having, you're having to be quite strong about this. I feel like they're keeping you in limbo, like they've been making you hold on, like they're keeping you holding on. I feel like they're giving you crumbs and that's keeping you invested in it when otherwise you may have let it go. I do get the strong sense that they don't wanna go the distance with you. Now, when I say these things, if it sounds um, triggering or challenging or negative, the thing that I wanna point out with this reading or any reading that you watch is one, we're just connecting to the general energies of the collective. So nothing is set in stone and also what is important to know is that we're only looking at the energies at this moment. This is all we can ever do. That is only the present moment. When you ask the question, you ask it in the present moment. So things can always change. You know, things can be different tomorrow or in a week or in a month. But if this is resonating with you, then it's a message that maybe you need um, to help you to get back in your power. Is what I'm hearing. Because I feel like maybe you are... You don't feel empowered. You don't feel radiant and amazing. Maybe this person is making you feel less than, maybe they, or this connection. I don't think they mean to do this. Maybe they're making you feel less than or weaker or rejected. Where is your power? Your power lies within you. Your power is in your beautiful, loving heart. And if this person doesn't want that love, then more fool them. That is their loss if they don't want it if they are resistant to it. I just sense this strong energy of withholding. It's like it gives them the power or it gives them the control and then that controlling framework makes them feel safer to do that. And I think when people do that, it's important to know the only reason they do that is because they learned in childhood that love was dangerous. So it's like they, in childhood, they reached out and said, love me, see me, um, let, you know, experience this love. And it, they were from a withholding background. So whoever they reached out to for love, it didn't come back to them. So remember, only hurt people hurt people. So and I think this is quite challenging. This has been quite a struggle for you to face that but I feel like you're facing it with grace with dignity with stoicism there is beauty in this situation there is um 
And what I'm hearing is where there is a ruin, there is hope for a treasure, which is a quote from Rumi, I believe, the poet. So we have the Six of Cups in the reverse. I see this as a... There is this soulmate energy here, which is why maybe you're feeling it quite intensely or you're like, oh yeah, you know, you're resonating with them at some level, like you are... Like you were destined to meet them, you were destined to have this connection, this situation. Maybe it's so that it can bring things up. Not everybody that we feel really strongly about is meant to be the one or to be in our life. Sometimes that person is a trigger which can bring something up from our subconscious mind which needs healing. So maybe you're their trigger or maybe they are your trigger. Six of Cups in the reverse, again, this uh, energy of withholding, this energy of them not recognizing the depth of this connection. And also, it, you could be dealing with like a false twin flame, someone who feels like a twin, but ultimately is not the one. I feel like if you are not meant to be with this person, then it's only because they are not the divine selection the one who has been chosen for you by universal intelligence to be your greatest partner in this life. I feel like some, this is at the center of your reading with 10 of swords. I feel like your person is really um, defeated by this. It's like they don't have the bandwidth for the sort of love that you have the sort of heart and open heart that you have. They don't have the bandwidth for it. Again, it may be because they didn't learn it in childhood. Not everybody is for us. This is one of the most difficult lessons that I have ever learned in my life. So, they are triggered by this. This is difficult for them and I don't think it's any reflection on you whatsoever. Never take it like that. Step into your power and just know that some people can only love at the level to which they love themselves. So, I feel like they're not willing to invest in this connection at this time. So I don't feel that you're meant to be together, but there is this beautiful opportunity here. Look at this. Spirit is bringing you an opportunity to bring in, we've got the world card, to bring in the divine selection. There is an opportunity for, uh, you know, because this is really a seed. So if this feels difficult or challenging, or you don't like what it is that I'm saying, and I'm really sorry, you know I don't want to hurt anybody, and you know I love you so much, can you feel it? Um, there is a seed of something amazing, of new growth, of something that resonates with you completely, which is, that has long-term potential, which is amazing. Spirit is really saying you have the opportunity to step back into your power. Don't give your power away to this person. That's what I'm hearing. Don't do that. Don't give your power away to this person. They do not hold the keys to your happiness. The keys to your happiness are in your own hands. They do not hold the keys to your future, you do. You can manifest the love that you want. Spirit is saying, do you want love to feel like this? Do you want it to feel like longing, like rejection, like emptiness, like, I've just seen 11, 11, um, like waiting? Don't wait for this person. Step into your power and let the world come to you with this goodness. Look at this. Step into your power and let the world, let the road rise to meet you. Let the world come in to, to bring you this. I see um, the possibility for a long distance romance or uh, for a holiday romance on vacation or when you're on a break or somebody who's from a different culture or a different town different city to you coming in. There is this opportunity here and you have got this whole world of opportunities, of options, which you may not be seeing. Spirit is really saying seven of cups. The world is your oyster. 
you do not need to have such a narrow view of this situation, of your future, of your prospects. You have a lot of options when you are open to it. The world is a card of openness, it's a card of success. You have a lot of options. You've got so much going for you, more than just this person, especially if this person is being withholding or uh, not stepping up, not leveling up. That's their journey. This is one of the toughest lessons we have to learn in life. It's just like, you can't change anybody else, you can only change yourself. We can't wrestle them into giving us what we want or meeting our needs. How about we go to the people who want to meet our needs? There are all these people out there who would be over the moon to be with you, over the moon to meet your needs, over the moon to be in your energy, in your presence. See how much more abundant and powerful this is. You are powerful. See how much more abundant and powerful this is than this person who isn't quite sure that they want you, maybe they like you around, maybe they like you as a friend, maybe, um, you know, it boosts their self-esteem a little bit to have your attention, maybe they like you having, having you hanging on, waiting for their text messages. But you have got so much abundance, financial abundance, abundance of love, ready for you because the fact is this person doesn't want to play right now remember like we were talking about this is just the energies why you ask the question I know this is very deep and if you're still with me thank you um, for being open to this message that spirit wants to bring you today so I don't see that you're meant to be together right now because I feel like this person has um, some issues which you cannot help them with. I want to take a look at the oracle cards and see what we have. Okay, look at this. We have the card Dark Knight of the Soul and the card Healing. This is the clearest indication that your person um, maybe cannot connect to love on that way, um, maybe is going through a challenging time within themselves, maybe they're suffering from anxiety or depression, you don't know about it, maybe they've got um, problems with um, slight addictions or they spend a lot of time numbing out or trying to distract themselves from things. I just feel like they are not the most emotionally healthy person. You can get involved in this. You can do this. You can go on this journey. You have free will. But do you want to? Do you want to when all of this is available to you on your doorstep? When you just expand your vision and see the possibilities that are available to you. The possibilities for someone to love you, someone to meet you where you're at. We have the card separation. This indicates maybe you are on a break, maybe you're in separation, maybe there's been a cooling off period. I feel like um, things feel very separate at the moment from you both. Maybe you're just uh, living on kind of parallel lines right now. We have the card from the Whispers of Love Oracle deck. Look to your inner strength. Exactly what I was talking about. Look to your inner strength. You're stronger than you realize. And if this message is resonating with you, then I don't think I'm telling you something that you don't already know. If this does feel like the truth to you, then I feel like this is just reflecting to you what you know in your heart. And maybe Spirit is saying, Like, there's a redirection. There are other opportunities here for you. One of those is this person. That is one facet. But Spirit is really saying, get back involved in your own life. Expand your vision to more than just looking at this person. Don't wait on this person. Go and live your life. Hang out with your friends. Flirt with other people. Um, enjoy those connections for what they are. It doesn't have to be deep and meaningful. It can just be fun and frivolous and just about connecting with new people who are different. And then see where it takes you. And it may take you back to this person when they've worked through their stuff in the future. Because if you're meant to be, you're meant to be and nothing will stop you from being together. But I just feel like, you know, with this dark night of the soul, you're dealing with someone who has a lot of issues and you can't help them. 
because it's their own journey. You are connected to one another, but it's just like how much of yourself do you want to pour into them? With Six of Cups in the reverse, you can give and give and give, and they will take and take and take, but do you want that? We have the card movement, it's got this beautiful snake imagery, this is about like shedding your old skin and getting back to that new skin, freshness. Okay, maybe you want to have a little bit of a makeover, maybe you want to shift things up a little bit, shake things up. There's also the image of an egg here about something being reborn, um, or something being born, you know, in the seed, there's an egg imagery in the seed imagery. This is about like... Where there is ruin, there is hope for a treasure. Where there are these more negative, difficult feelings, you can plant those and that suffering can be the compost which grows abundance, a beautiful meadow of love and possibility and ease and grace and joy and happiness and connection. You deserve these things. You deserve them. All right? So I am sorry if that is not what you want to hear, but remember, this is just the energies right now when you ask the question. Tomorrow morning, if things shift with this person, they could have a breakthrough. But Spirit is saying, focus on yourself for a little bit and just keep your options open in terms of your goals, your career and your love life. And then just see how things transpire and check in again in a month or two and we'll see. So don't feel too heavy hearted. This is definitely not what Spirit wants you to feel. Spirit wants you to feel joy. Because joy is available to you. The world is a card of joy. Plan a trip. Okay, and just enjoy yourself. And you know, there are other options to you. I feel like there's somebody else who's got their eye on you, who's got a big crush on you, who will be a good match for you. All right, so yes, I'm sorry, I don't like to give bad news, but um, that's what I see in the cards today. But remember, it's just the energies in this moment. Um, if you feel called to, please check out Tanisha, my amazing light worker friend. Um, she's not sponsoring me, she's just my friend who's been helping me to heal and blossom and um, dissolve my blocks. Um, she does a healing circle um, for $5 a month, which you can join and get distance healing. You can join her Facebook group for $5 a month and receive her beautiful healing and wisdom through that otherwise you can work with her one-on-one -on -one if you are ready for that challenge and you want to really let things go and create transformation she is an amazing girl very authentic and a beautiful true light worker her link is in the description box but have an amazing week thank you so much for spending your time with me i am sending you lots and lots of love because you're always in my thoughts and i hope to see you again soon here on lumiere take care now bye, -bye.